What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Adobe Premiere Pro's new feature that uses AI to analyze, transcribe, and let you edit your video by just editing the text dialogue as part of it. And it does really great cuts. It works pretty well, so I thought I'd show you guys how to do it. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. That's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Almost got it that time. Uh, also, huge shout out to Money Dev. Thank you for being a channel member. If you want to become a channel member and get shout outs in videos like this, click on that membership button below. So in the video itself, since I flubbed my intro, it's pretty easy how we do this. In our text section, we have uh, normally captions and graphics. Now we have a transcript section as well. Uh, make sure you updated the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro to make sure you have this feature. And we're gonna go ahead and find some videos. Uh, so here's a video here, I'm gonna drag it in. And then we can just drag this into our timeline. Now we just have to hit transcribe on that selected clip and it's going to take some time to transcribe it. So it's gonna analyze the clip and give you a whole list of all the dialogue spoken in it. You can even set it up to separate which characters are talking and things like that to make it even easier. But since it's just me talking in this video, I didn't do that. I just have it as the standard method of uh, transcribing. So we'll wait till this finishes and then I'll show you how to use it. All right, so it finished up and you can see here that we have uh, the beginning, testing, testing, what's up guys, like that, right? So I could actually play that. Oh, I'm not actually recording audio. Let me go ahead and record audio as well. All right, so let's go ahead and play this. Testing, testing. What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to... All right, so that's pretty normal, right? Normally we'd have to zoom in and get rid of that beginning section over here and kind of figure out where it ends and where it starts, all that stuff, right? Uh, not anymore. Now we can just go ahead and highlight this beginning section. See that when we drag over these three dots, it says how long those uh, pauses are. So this is a three and a half second pause. This is a 2.2 second pause. Uh, we can go ahead and highlight all of that and just delete and it deleted right in the video. So if I go ahead and watch the video now. What's up guys, how's it going, Mike the Tech? The perfect intro starts just right up. And then I can easily just go click on this pause. I can click on this pause. I can click on this pause. And I've already done a massive part of my editing work. Let's take a look at this pause. Before we get started, if you wanna, before we get started, if you're watching this video, so we can see that there's a flub right there, right? Because I, I messed up. It says, before we get started, if you want to, and I messed up before we get started and that's when I actually say it right. So I can just go ahead and highlight that section right there without having to find it in the finder or anything. Delete and check it out again. Pretty straightforward. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. Listen to the man, if you're not subscribed, subscribe now, right? <laughs> this is a really, really easy to use feature. It has sped up my workflows immensely and I was excited to show it to you guys today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace. Mike the tech, the architect, huh? Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah.